Welcome back to Good Morning La La and Carrie Rose's um, Carrie Rose is in the house. I am actor, in the writer, yes. producer, <laughs> and he is um was an ex NFL player. Yes. So what's up? How do you go from being an ex NFL player to being an actor? That's a big leap. Yeah, I mean, uh, it is a big leap for a lot of people, a lot of guys, because uh, there, like, but for me, no problem. <laughs> no, because yeah. I mean, a lot of those guys are so like invested in that world, and that's their the only thing they've really known their whole lives. But for me, I mean, I was uh, an actor, a producer, a writer, from, like middle school on. Like I, I created my first like play in eighth grade and like did it like a medieval wow. play. So wow. I mean, I had those <laughs> a medieval, that, that, play, in a medieval grade. play in eighth grade. So I had like that background anyway. So. Football wasn't my wasn't my end all be all thing, and so for me the transition was a little smoother. But just because I had that mindset anyway from the beginning. Wow. wow. We yeah. actually have a look at one of your latest shows with Tyler Perry. Let's take nice. a peek. Look, Kelly, I got something to tell you. Okay. I used to work security for the church sometimes. So you're on his side too. No, I'm not. Just leave. No, listen to me. There are some things that went down that I'm getting information on that can help you, okay? Why should I trust you? What else do you have to lose? So we want to know behind yes. the scenes. I mean, you're, you're with Oprah, you're with the big boys in the yeah. house. What's mm. up? How's that, how's that experience? It's, it's amazing. I mean, you're being around, you're, you're putting yourself in positions to be around people that are game changers, that are... There are super enlightened people. So for me, that's that was my biggest deal, putting myself in the right rooms and being around people that are, I mean, successful, but also just really kind and nice people. So for me, that was my biggest thing. Because, uh, you know, you leave this 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 world where in the NFL, it's such a, a toxic place to be, especially a lot of toxic masculinity, uh, masculinity that goes on in that world. So for me to be able to, to kind of break those chains and, and reconfigure my thinking and what, you know, the person I really ultimately want to be, that was... So let's That's talk been about the most that. Let's, about let's talk about wow. that. Yeah. What does that look like? What 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 was the before environment versus now? What is that toxic world that you're kind of like? I think it's important as a man to say yeah. this doesn't work for me. Yeah, I think uh, we're we're in that league in that world. We're 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 raising young boys to be you know hyper aggressive to 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 be win at all costs. And in, in the real world, that just doesn't that doesn't really fly, right? So to get those guys to, to have the understanding that you can be an emotional person, you can be compassionate in, in the world. And, and as a man in particular, to have those type of qualities are great in, in the real world, right? So start giving those guys, you know, still helping them and teaching them the way to win in, on that, in that world, which is fine, but also knowing that in real life, you have to have certain qualities about the person and the person you want to be. Yeah, I love yeah. that. What particular qualities do you think or strengths have led you to the success you've experienced both in the NFL but also in entertainment? I think I think some of the stuff that I carried over from the game, because I, I do talk a lot about how the emotional part of it is is bad, but a lot of the strategic part of it, the, the game planning, the having structure, having the ability to execute a plan has been yeah. awesome, right? You can't really get anything like that. But when you transfer from that world into always say <laughs> this new world, because this, this new world is totally different, but to the new world, the real world, you can't, you, you have to be compassionate. You got to care for people and you got to have the ability to, you know, understand that everything isn't about you. And also you can't control every situation because when you have that game plan and that stuff written down, you can control that. That's there. It's a blueprint. But in this world, everything is kind of different and people are different and people have different ways of thinking and, and that's okay. Yeah. And that's fine. It's not just your, 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 your ultimate thing. On your point. Instagram profile, you mentioned wanting to explore and experience every dimension you can Absolutely. before your time is up. What yes. do you mean by that? I mean, a lot of people are so set on the now and the now is great. I mean, it, it is, it's a tangible thing and we can all see that, but also there are different, different realms and different dimensions that I think as humans, we can tap into and we can and visit in. And, and enjoy as well. And so for me, I just, I try to tell a lot of people, man, it's, there's, there's more, more beyond what you can see and more things that are, the things, I mean, like I said, the tangible, the tangible things are fine and you can see it and it's all great, but there's so much more to experience. And Damn, you were like yeah. way evolved. Were you, were you, like, <laughs> what would you attribute this to? And how can someone who's out there is like, okay, there's gotta be more than what I'm doing. How yeah. do they seek and find that? Yeah, I think it's just all about seeking it. A lot of people are scared to seek mm. what they don't know, right? And what they don't understand. So, I mean, once you get out of your own head and saying that this is this life, it's okay. Like I can get by just being okay. Like go out and be exceptional. Go be great and seek those things and seek those different truths. And sometimes they're not going to be great. They're going to be sour things. They're going to be bad things that you 
have in your arsenal that you thought were okay, but yeah. that's okay too. I mean, you have the ability to learn and be great. And, and if you do that, I think, I think uh, <laughs> better days lie ahead. Yeah. yeah. Have you always been uh, sort of a well-educated or informed like risk taker? Like, is that always been a quality that you've embraced within yourself? Or is that something you've had to cultivate over the years? Yeah, yeah it, it's been growth. I mean, obviously, like in, in my previous profession, I mean, I was always gifted. I had that, I had that talent. I mean, it was a, a, God, a God-given thing. But uh, I think- What all, you mean, by the way? Yeah. But it's crazy, because it's I, tough. I, right, it's tough. <laughs> That is yeah. to carry the responsibility of fame, of fortune, yeah. to be a living legend or an icon, yeah. if you will. Yeah. That is tough. Absolutely, it is tough. I mean, you have these. You have the weight of the world. I mean, you have these things where, like, you're you're given these extreme powers, and a lot of people, a lot of people have it. I mean, I think everybody has the innate ability to be great, right? So we all have yeah. that. But then you see the guys like myself who were just as talented as I was, or better, and don't make it. So you you're like, mm -hmm. how did that happen? But I, I think it's just, like I said, it's applying it. Like we have, we have that ability. If you apply it and you work hard and you, like I said, seek, seek greater truth and, and, and really, really want to find out about yourself and who you are, then you take those risks. And wow. I love that. Man. Well, to, follow yeah. this man. How yeah, do they absolutely. follow you? You can follow me at, uh, on Instagram at, at Carrie Rhodes and uh, on Twitter at, at Carrie 25 Rhodes. So I couldn't have the Carrie You're Rhodes breaking Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking the stigmas. Thank you so much for being so cautious hey, and involved. This is, this is, this is awesome. Like you. Thank, Thank you, guys. Absolutely. I love what you guys do. Right Appreciate it.